Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to upload a video to Canvas, use the suggested option called Amara to create captions for that video, then insert those captions back into the video file in Canvas so that we can increase accessibility. So let's begin. First you can see here I have my example content page. I'm going to click in there, edit. I'm going to add the video by clicking on record, upload media. And remember that you can slow this video down. I'm going to go through these things fairly quickly. You can slow this video down or pause it at any point if you need to catch up. I'm going to click on upload media, select my video file. I've created an example video file that's fairly quick and that just has a little bit of narration to it. Uh, you can also see my face so that we can align the words. I'm going to add that. And now I'm going to hit save. And I'm just going to take a look at the video file here to make sure that it's working. Welcome to creating universally designed and accessible multi- Okay, seems to be working just fine. So now the next step is over here, in the bottom right, you're going to see a small menu that says CC for closed caption or caption subtitles. We're going to click on upload subtitles, even though we don't have any to upload quite yet. When we click on that, we're going to get this dialog box. Now it directs you through the steps that need to happen. The first step is copying this video uh, URL. It's a little tricky because it goes off the page, at least for me it does that. So I found the best way is to just to click and drag it carefully all the way across, being careful not to copy anything else that is below. And then I'm going to do Control C to copy that. And now I'm going to go to the subtitle creation tool. Now what this tool is, is another company that works alongside of Canvas called Amara and it allows you to create subtitles that can then essentially be put into a file that can be uploaded alongside of the video in Canvas. It's very compatible and it's free, which is nice. Now, I am already logged in. You have to create a login in order to create the subtitles. I used my uh, University of Kentucky Gmail. It was easy to do that. So, Here's where we now paste in our super long link there to the MP4 and click begin. What it will do at this point is that it will bring in the video so it's available to add any content or uh, as it's called here, languages to it. Okay, so far we all we have done is upload the video to Canvas and then set the link in Amara to say this is the video that we're going to caption. So now we're going to add a new language, which in my case will be English. So I'm going to go down and select English. And we're also going to subtitle it in English. Do continue. Now this is really just a label. It doesn't hardly make any difference. Now we come to the Amara control screen. Now from here, you're going to see a couple of things. There's sections to this basically. On the far left, we're going to have these keyboard controls. These could be very essential, especially if you're doing a lot of subtitling. In the middle, we have our video for playback. And then on the far right, we have basically our steps that it will go through. So right away, we see the steps that we're going to take here in order to add some subtitles onto this video. We're going to type what we hear. We're not going to worry about the timing at first. And then we're going to sync the timing. And then we're going to review and complete the process. So you may want to start just simply by getting familiar with the keyboard controls. Tab. Welcome to creating universally designed and for play and pause. Shift tab. We're skipping back and shift enter for creating a line break as you're typing. Really the other keyboard control is enter as it shows you down here to create a new subtitle. Now Amara is going to prompt you for the subtitles and it will show you some errors and so on and we'll explain that. But prompt you to keep the subtitles to a couple of lines as you might expect what you want are just a couple of lines at a time at the bottom of the page. That doesn't intrude on the rest of the screen as you see it. 
So let's begin by clicking in here, getting ready to type our first subtitle, get my hands on the keyboard, get ready with my tab to play back phrase by phrase and to type in the phrases just in this short clip. So I'm going to begin here by hitting tab. Welcome to creating universally designed and accessible multimedia workshop. And then I'm going to type it in. Now you can see right away how it looks on the page, which isn't very good. Um, it just stretches out too far. Uh, these are our parameters really right here and here. You can also see on the right hand side, Amara is giving me some warnings. Characters are 73 and they're saying the line length in this case shouldn't exceed 42 characters. Add a line break if necessary. So what I'm going to do is go back in here and do my shift enter. Uh, maybe try it right there. And that looks pretty good. I don't have any errors here. We've got our uh, closed captioning here. It's not exactly where it's going to be. This is just a file, just an example. And then in order to do my next subtitle, because Amara really just wants to do a couple of lines at a time, I'm going to just hit enter and then we're on to our next subtitle. And then hit tab to play back again. My name is Jason Johnson, Director of Teaching and Learning in the College of Social Work. At and I'm going to go ahead and do shift enter because I know that, that I want to do a line break there. And then did enter again to go down to my next subtitle. Now I'm going to do shift tab just to go back just a little bit so I can make sure that I caught everything. And then hit tab again. Teaching and learning in the College of Social Work at the University of Kentucky. Do shift, enter, then enter. This workshop is part of a series developed. Whoops. I hit enter by mistake rather than shift enter. That's okay. I'm just going to click back up here and do shift enter. To instruct faculty and staff on how to create. Shift tab to go back a little bit. Play again. Faculty and staff on how to create, update, and deliver more accessible multimedia learning content. Okay. We have all of our subtitles uh, separately here that uh, we're going to control next in terms of timing. And uh, the other thing, as you hover over, you'll see a number of different options that you can click on. You can hover over here and click on this little, see the little wrench there. When you go there, you can go to where that subtitle is. You could insert another subtitle above or one below, delete the subtitle, or start some sort of note. Down in the bottom right hand corner you see over here, you could paste some notes about this subtitle. Maybe there's something you want to check uh, later, an error or, or something else. You want to just make some sort of note maybe to come back to later. So if we're okay with all of that, then we have finished step one. I'm going to click on yes, start syncing. And it's going to ask me to review. Again, we have some keyboard controls prompted up here on the left hand side. Uh, play and pause is still tab. Shift and tab is still skip back. But we have the up and down keys telling when to start and stop a subtitle. And now what you see over here is a linear time ruler showing where different captions could go in as you are playing back. Now what you do basically here is the process is that you play back and then you use the up and down arrows to tell Amara where to start and stop each subtitle. It takes a little bit of practice in order to get them in well, but recognizing at this point, you really just have to kind of get in the ballpark. It's very easy to go back and to adjust the beginning and ending parts. So I'm just going to begin here by hitting the play button and then seeing where they land because we can always edit them afterwards. So just using my up and down arrows after I hit the playback button to try to land these as closely as possible to what I'm saying on the screen. Welcome to creating universally designed and accessible multimedia workshop. My name is Jason Johnson, Director of Teaching and Learning in the College of Social Work at the University of Kentucky. This workshop is part of a series developed to instruct faculty and staff on how to create, update, and deliver more accessible multimedia learning content. 
And you notice I just let that last one run right to the end there. But it's really that simple. As I said, it's going to take some practice. We can go back here at the beginning. I know I think I, I think I want to start this almost right at the beginning. And so we're just going to play it back. I made that slight adjustment. You saw that by just dragging that over like that. And we'll see what it looks like. Welcome to creating universally designed and accessible multimedia workshop. My name is Jason Johnson, Director of Teaching and Learning in the College of Social Work at the University. And you can see I was a little bit off there, so I'm going to go drag this back just a little bit. Maybe click on here. Sometimes it's a little slow to respond. Learning in the call. You can also use the space bar to pause, uh, start, and stop. It's sometimes easier to find. Right in there. I'm going to drag that back, and I'm going to put that put those subtitles right beside each other. And then we're going to back it up just slightly. See what it looks like. Teaching and learning in the College of Social Work. Just drag this one just a little further. The University of Kentucky. This workshop is part of a series developed to instruct faculty. And those are really good together. So I'm going to stick those together. And staff on how to create, update, and deliver more. Ex There's no reason to have gaps between those. So I just dragged them back so that they would have no gaps. So now let's take it back to the beginning again. And let's see our final. Welcome to creating universally designed and accessible multimedia workshop. My name is Jason Johnson, Director of Teaching and Learning in the College of Social Work at the University of Kentucky. This workshop is part of a series developed to instruct faculty and staff on how to create, update, and deliver more accessible multimedia learning content. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to click on Start Review. We could review it again if we wanted to. I reviewed it in the in the other screen because I could make uh, easier edits maybe from right there. But I'm just going to go ahead and click on Edit Title and Description. So it just automatically puts in the link, which we don't want. Click on Done. Then I'm going to do Publish. Saving it. Now it goes back. We can see what it would look Welcome like. Welcome to creating universally designed and accessible multimedia workshop. My name is Jason Johnson, Director of Teaching and Learning in the College of Social Work at the University of Kentucky. Hit escape to get out of there. Looks pretty good. So now we're going to leave Amara, but recognize that with your login, you can always come back here. You can make changes and so on as needed. You could also get uh, embedded video code from right there if you'd like. Uh, you can look at different revisions that you've done, or if you have a group of people working on them. Uh, maybe you want to crowdsource this a little bit, or have a team of people working on closed captioning. And uh, that's where you can see the revisions there. But now we're going to leave Amara and, and go back to Canvas. So we're going to go over here to Download, and we're going to download the SRT file. An SRT file is a short for sub rip subtitle file. So this type of file holds basically subtitle information, timing information, so it can sync up. It's used very commonly. It's used uh, in Canvas, but it's used for many other kinds of programs. Just if you're using this for other programs that you just have to check to see, because I know some of the other ones like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro uses other kinds of files. So now we're going to download the SRT file. On mine, it just downloads automatically to my download folder. It's not a bad idea to save these files uh, if, um, if you have a project that you're working on. So you can also do this menu. Go to SRT, right click on the PC anyways, and save link as, and then save it with your wherever your project is that you're working on. So also may make it easier to find it later. Now we're going to go back into Canvas. It's going to ask us language. Again, choose your language. And then we're going to choose the file. There's my SRT file there. If you can't see which one it is, it should be whatever you called it. But of course, you can always change that to see the different file types. I'm going to open. Now I'm going to upload. 
and I had a successful sign there, but one that also reminded me that I will need to reload this page. Now we don't need to save this page, it's actually uploaded, connected with the file now, and I just need to reload it, play it back. Welcome to creating universally designed and accept, and then select now the type of subtitles that I would like. Accessible Multimedia Workshop. My name is Jason Johnson, Director of Teaching and Learning in the College of Social Work at the University of Kentucky. This workshop is part of a series developed to instruct faculty and staff on how to create, update, and deliver more accessible multimedia learning content. And you can see actually here, this is a great example of just uh, something to keep in mind that Amara is a free tool and this is a limitation that I didn't actually even realize until I was just doing this tutorial just now is that it didn't like my and sign there this is like a programming glitch where it rec it does not recognize the character in the correct way and so in this case I used and when it copied over it uh, added in these extra characters which isn't good so in the future now I know that I will not use the and sign I will just type out and whenever I want to use uh, there probably are some workarounds for that to go in and, and to change it but it might not uh, be worth it for the for the uh, time so those are the kind of things you might run into as you're working with Amara being a uh, free option self-titling option but other than that it seems to work pretty well and has some really nice shortcuts and I like the fact that it's directly in canvas one of the advantages over say using YouTube to do all your subtitling is that you can then keep your video material in canvas say that there's already video that is developed in canvas and uploaded there rather than downloading uploading to youtube then putting in the link and then doing your captioning you can just go ahead and do your captioning here and it might be a really good option for some of those legacy classes that you need to go back and add accessibility for i hope this has been helpful and that you will continue to use these tools to try to increase accessibility which is good design for all people